This was an interesting study uh, presented by Dr. Mahalingam where they evaluated a drug called Mipsagargan. What the uh, study showed was that, first of all, it's safe, which is the most important thing for these relatively early phase um, studies. The drug is well tolerated. Um, and there were some uh, hints of activity in that there were uh, a number of patients who uh, remain, were able to remain on the treatment. This particular study uh, was well conducted in one side to have found 25 patients um, that are second line, you know, have progressed on sorafenib uh, and with uh, somewhat compromised liver function, child pu class B as well were included and uh, tolerated this drug really well. Only about 12% of people had grade 3 toxicities, which is quite remarkable. Liver cancer is one of the few cancers that are rising in incidence. Um, in the United States, patients with hepatitis C, obesity-related liver disease, hepatitis B, can develop um, liver failure and subsequent liver cancer. And there's a huge unmet need in terms of um, systemic therapy options. Currently, there's only one systemic therapy option that's approved by the FDA, and that's Nexavar. Globally, liver cancer is one of the most common uh, cancers, um, particularly because of its high incidence in uh, Asia, um, mostly related to hepatitis B, but in the Western uh, population and in other parts of the world, um, it, is, um, it is on the increase. Um, you know. Cancers of the liver in the United States are rare, only about 18,000 or so cases, but this is a cancer that's growing in incidence. And of course there is a real unmet need for treatments, active treatments. We've got one drug treatment, serafinib, that's um, FDA approved and that has been shown in modern clinical trials to prolong survival. So clearly we need better treatments, uh, more innovative approaches. Uh, with only one approved drug or globally for this disease, the only solid tumor with just one approved drug, uh, clearly this is an area of unmet need. And globally with hepatitis B being the predominant risk factor in Asia and Africa, uh, there, there are countries where the incidence is 32 per 100,000, very, very high risk uh, and very, very high prevalence. Uh, leading cause of death in a number of countries, uh, globally third leading cause of death. Um, so a lot of work needs to be done. So we definitely need innovative approaches uh, which can uh, combine uh, treatments uh, or look at a totally different uh, approach.